Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for those of you that are new here, my name is Kadeem. So I know I haven't uploaded for a while. I, I've just been really busy. I've unfortunately I lost my job, so I've spent a lot of time kind of looking for a new job. But I've also set up my own self-employed makeup business. So I focus a lot of time on building up that and trying to just get my name out there because obviously I do my YouTube channel and I do my, like, my own makeup, but I never really do makeup on clients. And it's like something I've wanted to do for ages. And then, yeah, after losing my job, it's kind of just given me that motivation to actually get it started. So I worked on that. And I've always wanted to do modeling. And I modeled for a clothing brand a couple of years ago. And then about a month or so ago, I got a message from someone on Facebook just asking if I could model for their clothing range. And I did. And what I'll do is I will link the clothing range below is carbon clothing and so you can check out all the photos from that photo sh shoot and it was such a good shoot I had such so much fun doing it and actually made me think actually I really do want to get back into modeling so I've also started up my like work my own website now so I'm building up my portfolio and it's also got all my makeup so again I will link that one below as well so you can check that out but yeah for today's video I'm so yeah, if you guys like watch my last video with uh, my partner Seb, he is actually a photographer, so perfect. I can get photos taken for me whenever I want. But um, yeah, so I feel like I've not actually got many professional photos. So today is I'm just gonna kind of go for a little photo shoot with him and just kind of get more for my portfolio. We've taken a few headshots already with no makeup. So um, when I start the video, like I've done all my skincare and I've primed using my Elf Paula Party Primer. So I'm not going to show you doing that because yeah, I've kind of done my skincare, had my headshots taken and then I'm going to kind of put on minimal photo shoot makeup and then I will take you on behind the scenes of the little shoot that me and Seb will be doing as well. To start off with, I'm using my Rimmel London Good to Glow highlighter, liquid highlighter in the shade Soho Glow. I've applied that first just so that when the foundation sits on top, it will kind of glow through and it won't be too shiny because you don't want it to be like highlighter. It literally just is to kind of have that natural glowy, dewy look to the skin. So for foundation, I'm going to be using my Fenty Pro Filter foundation in the shade 340. And with this, I will be mixing it just with a bit of moisturizer just so it has got more of a lightweight coverage. And it's, you know, I make it more of a BB cream. I was going to use BB cream, but I kind of just prefer the way my Fenty foundation photographs, so that's why I'm doing it this way. So what I do, I just pump a little bit of foundation in the back of my hand, and then some moisturizer, just mix the two together, then just dot it over and blend it out. Next for concealer, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 40 and I'm not going to do what I usually do with that kind of under whole brightening under eyes. I'm just going to use this kind of spot conceal, any imperfections, and just bright, slightly brighten the under eye, just pop it in a few dots. And with that one, I'm just going to use my finger to blend it out. And then to set, I'm just going to use my Beauty Bakery flower powder in yellow. And with this, I'm just taking a really light amount of powder and just to kind of set the under eyes so it don't crease and then just kind of brush it all over just so that I don't have a shiny face. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not actually going to contour as such. I'm going to use my Revolution Pro um, powder contour palette in medium dark and I'm just going to use this to kind of bronze up the face. For eyebrows, I'm just going to go in with my Hema brow gel and just kind of brush them all into place and kind of add, it adds a bit of a slight tint to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to brush them more up rather than kind of like across just kind of make them more bushy and full and more like natural looking and looks like they've been like untouched almost. And then for lips I'm just going to go with my Fenty Beauty lip gloss and just apply it to my lips. And then for setting spray, I'm going to use my Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Setting Spray. But yes, yeah, so that's it for makeup. And then for hair, so my hair is dried now since starting. So I'm just going to spray this one down. And then I'm going to apply some mousse and I'm using the Charles Worthington setting mousse. And I applied quite a generous amount. And then I go in my Schwarzkopf Got To Be Glued um, Styling Hairspray. Um, this hairspray is literally one of the best hairsprays I've ever used. It has got the strongest hold. I even use this to glue down my wigs. So, yeah. Definitely would recommend this if you do like a really strong hold, which I need it because my hair is so afro. If I don't put any really strong hold product in, it just kind of just curls up it just goes all like a frizz ball whereas this way kind of keeps it in the messy wet look style that I kind of have it in when I can be bothered to style my hair this is the finished result and we are all ready to go on the shoot so keep watching and you can see how it goes <laughs>